49. We're doing multiplication tables. <laughs> Laurie Duncan's nine-year-old son, Abram, loves to sing his multiplication tables. But when this working class family of five tried to buy private health insurance, the math just didn't add up. It was um, more than our mortgage, especially having a child with cerebral palsy. So, what do you do? Abram has CP. People don't realize how much, how much it costs to have a special needs child. So when Doug lost his job in 2013 and the family lost their health insurance, the bills were piling up. They didn't know what to do just never ended you know it was just every time you paid something off something new would arrive every time you pay that off something new would arrive so then we got on all kids it just helped it helped all kids is a program in Alabama that helps families afford health insurance money from chip funds all kids and it also supports Medicaid impacting 172,000 kids statewide it's just a, a lifting of a burden a huge infusion of peace of mind for families across this state. We're in our life where we make too much money to um, get on Medicaid. And so all kids, it just helps those families or middle class. Congress voted to fund CHIP for the next six years, so it's not a permanent fix. But for families who rely on the program for health coverage, this week's vote has certainly been welcome news in an uncertain time. Lisa.